Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So this is variant 3. This is the first quest of chapter 2 of Polar Opposites. It's the third variant to enter the contest. And we're going to show you the easiest path. We'll show you the fights. And I'll talk a little bit about the global nodes. So the first path here has a one-star chest on it. That usually indicates that it is of an easier difficulty. Not always, but it's a good indication. Now, in this particular quest, we have two paths that have the one-star chest, the one on the far left and the one on the far right. And you saw the nodes you would have to deal with on either path. Neither one of them are particularly difficult. Uh, it'll boil down to preference, your skill, who you're planning on using. As for me, I decided to take the far right path. That seemed to be the easiest path for me to do uh, for my initial clear. All right, so as we're fighting, let's talk about the global nodes. There are four of them that you want to be aware of. Apex Manufacture, Composite Construction, Stack Overflow, and Overclocked. Apex Manufacturer effectively doubles Sentinel's damage. It reads, Sentinel gains analysis charges at twice the normal rate, and his attacks will deal 1% additional true damage. Since he has a max of 100 charges that he can gain, it adds 100%, so effectively doubling it. And the fact that he gains analysis charges twice as fast is especially good when, like me, you don't have your Sentinel Awakened. Composite Construction, all cha uh, tech champions in this fight are immune to ability accuracy modification. That is great when you are fighting Magneto or Domino with a tech champion, like Starkey or Ghost. Ghost gets magnetized uh, when she's dealing with Magneto, so her phasing is unreliable when fighting him. Very annoying. Don't have to worry about that because of the global. Uh, Spider-Man Stark Enhanced when he's fighting Domino. I'm sure you all are familiar with Domino. Don't have to worry about that. So I love these globals. Uh, stack Overflow. Each additional tech champion on the attacker's team increases the duration of their buffs or debuffs by 10%. So let me tell you a little bit about what you can do with that. Say you have Spider-Man Stark in hand. He has a guaranteed stun on his special one. You add Miles Morales, which adds to that stun duration, and then fill out the rest of the team with tech champions so that you're getting, uh, what is it, 30% more stun. So what you can do is you can build up to almost a special two, fire off your special one, which is, as I said, guaranteed stun, and just keep doing your five hit combos, uh, maybe a two hit, then a three, four, you know, to try and uh, build up, make sure you have at least one bar of power each time. Eventually, you're going to get so low that you cannot do another, and what you wanna do then is on that last one, you stun them, fire off a heavy, get them down from that special three, which they most likely will have at that time, and then bait out their special two, and then do it all again. Very, very nice if you don't have some of the uh, more powerful tech champions for this particular uh, quest ranked up, which would be Ghost and Sentinel, in my opinion. This is a ghost playground, and I use ghost for the most part throughout this quest, but I do use my Spider-Man Stark Enhanced and Sentinel uh, every so often. All right, so, so far on this path, we have not encountered anything too difficult. The Enhanced Fury, if you don't get hit, is not a big deal. Um, if you get hit, it's going to mean that if they have a Fury, it's going to hurt even more. And they will have a Fury if you don't hit them because of the Aggression Fury. Okay, so you want to be aggressive when you're fighting these guys. And the reason that I chose this path 
is because that is my normal fighting style. I fight aggressively. So aggression, fury, and all of those other types of aggression nodes, they don't bother me because I love fighting aggressively. All right, so we're fighting against this uh, crossbones who can definitely wreck you. But with my Spider-Man Stark Enhanced, I chose him because sometimes I want to get aggressive and push to the special two. And I still haven't mastered evading his special two completely. I've done it once. Uh, another time I managed to get the first two, got clipped on the second one. So I'm still trying to get that timing down. Uh, but with my Spider-Man Stark Enhanced, it just makes it a little bit easier because he can auto evade as well. I still try to evade it, but it's nice to know that when I'm, you know, off on my timing, he'll auto evade. All right. So next up, we've got Hulk, my boy Hulk. And again, not a problem. He does gain fury. But if you know how to fight Hulk, you shouldn't have any worries whatsoever. Now, his special one can be very tricky. If you are close to him, you only need to evade one time and you're good. If you are at a distance, and I don't know exactly what distance that is, you actually have to evade twice. I've gotten caught by that many a time. I'll evade one time back and get caught with the second part. So it changes. Sometimes it's a one part attack and if you're too far away, it's a two-part attack. Uh, the other thing you have to worry about is that special two. You don't want to get hit with it. It'll usually end the fight. And with his health down this low, I definitely don't want to. And you can see he's sitting here just waiting for me. I cannot get him to fire off that special two. He's just waiting. He's getting me in the corner. And I'm just like, what is going on? Throw your special two. And then that, I'm like, really? Are you kidding me? Now, what I should have done, because I had the hood synergy, after I saw that he just was not gonna fire off his special, I should have went ahead and pushed him to his special three and then phased. But with the way he was acting, he might've waited until my phase was out and then fire off his special three. I wasn't sure what was going on with this Hulk. He was determined. Um, but that would have possibly saved my ghost. Pushing him to his special three, I wouldn't have taken any damage thanks to the hood synergy. All right, but we lost our ghost. I was a little salty about that. Um, but it is what it is. It was Sentinel's time to shine. He was able to put the finishing moves on Hulk. And we're just going to go ahead and use him. We were planning on using Sentinel for this Sabretooth anyway. Anytime I see Sabretooth, I think of using someone that has a type of heal block or a lot of damage. And thanks to these nodes, Sentinel has both in spades. All right. So because this uh, Sabretooth is a mutant, I'm able to get charges fast. Now, right now, I haven't gotten a single one. There we go. Uh, I was trying to get him to start blocking and he was not wanting to block in the beginning, all right? But we were able to hit him a little bit and see here, I'm just like, you know what? Let me get to a special two, fire that off uh, because I have maxed out despair, which means my special two, all those incinerates are going to reduce his healing, okay? I still don't have my 100% uh, analysis. And I'm just sitting there going, what in the world is happening? I'm just fighting this all wrong, okay? But here we go. Almost, I'm almost dead here. And I'm just like, are you kidding me? This should not be happening. Ghost should not have died. And Sentinel looks like he's about to go. Look at that unblockable, scary, all right? But we were able to get him down. So I'm just like, wow, this is ridiculous. Now I'm trying to do this without using any items. This kind of gameplay is making it difficult. I'm now sitting here like, what 
am I going to do? But I'm no quitter. Starkey, it's your time to shine. But here's the nodes that you're going to have to deal with when you're fighting this Wolverine. All right, now, none of them are too difficult to deal with. All right, the, your basic strategy is to be aggressive, fight him like normal. When you see he has a regen, back off. You can let the regen go out or you can intercept him a lot. Now, you saw he had Mighty Charge 1. Thankfully, it's only Mighty Charge 1, so he does not have the unstoppable. He just goes immune to debuffs, all right? But Starkey, other than his uh, special two, really, uh, is not going to put a debuff uh, on the opponent, all right? So we're just fighting him, as you can see, you know, fairly straightforward. I'm just being a little careful here. Um, got hit there. Decided to go ahead and fire that off. And he just is clocking me. I don't know what I was doing uh, during these last uh, three fights. Maybe I was tired. I don't know. But I was just playing badly. All right. Can't even blame the game there. All right. So we're, you know, still trying to get him down here. You know, maybe those hits knocked some sense into me. Woke me up. And here we go with that stun. And it's over with. So still no items. So that's going to do it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helps you out when you're doing your initial clear. Uh, leave a comment below and let me know how you did. Uh, click like. And you all have a blessed day.